in the region, Mexico's first leftist president in seven decades has been sworn in in a ceremony in the country's parliament. Andres Manuel Lopez Obrado pledged on Saturday to end corruption and impunity to transform the nation on behalf of the poor and marginalized. The 65-year-old, popularly known by his initials AMLO, won a landslide victory in July, his third presidential bid. The political veteran begins his six-year term with approval ratings of 56%. His predecessor, Enrique Peña Nieto, leaves office with only 24% approval ratings. His administration was plagued with corruption scandals and murder rates, reaching record high levels. And in international news, a police officer has been killed in mob violence over alleged cow slaughter in the northern Indian state of Uttar Pradesh. Members of the right-wing Hindu group clashed with police when the protests turned violent on Monday. The police retaliated with a baton charge after the mob allegedly set fire to the police station and several vehicles parked outside. An 18-year-old protester was killed and another policeman was injured. Cows are considered holy by the India's majority Hindu population. Many states have actively started enforcing bans on cow slaughter after the Hindu nationalist BJP formed India's federal government in 2014. So-called cow vigilantism has been on the rise and has led to several killings in the past few years. And finally, Beijing will reduce and remove the 40% tariff it places on U.S. cars imported into China, U.S. President Donald Trump has said. China has declined to confirm President Trump's announcement, which he made on Twitter without providing details. The move, if confirmed, would be welcomed by a car industry unsettled by the escalating U.S.-China trade war. President Trump and Xi Jinping have now agreed to a temporary truce in the bitter dispute. Over dinner at the G20 summit, they have agreed not to increase tariffs for 90 days to allow for talks. Failure to strike a deal would have seen tariffs on 200 billion worth of Chinese goods raised from 10% to 25% at the start of the next year, and would have opened ways for tariffs on additional Chinese goods. Headline News, BB Backus. Thanks for watching Headline News. Leave a like or a comment below. And for updates on the latest news happening in Guyana, click the subscribe button.